Hey, Fitness Gym here, back with another video. Week two of my journey. Here we go, we're getting straight into the video. On Monday I did goblet squats with the heel uh, raised up. Eight reps of 15 kilograms, which I think adds up to around 30 pounds. We're looking pretty good, we're feeling pretty good. Form is nice and slow, and I'm thinking I was burning my quads on this one, and I most definitely was. This is on a Monday, this was on a leg day. Uh, yeah, let's speed this up and we'll get to the next uh, exercise. We got some Bulgarian split squats coming up next, and I took consideration uh, last week and I did my depth a lot lower. This is all, also 15 kilograms, which adds up to 30 pounds. Really feeling this one in my glutes, which is just what we want. As usual, I'm just thinking about falling over because of how tired my legs are at this point. And you know when we're done with that first leg, we go straight over to the second one. Right about, well, maybe a little break. Right about now, we get into that second leg at full force and ready to go. I did eight reps on both legs. And on the next exercise, looks like we're doing some barbell hack squats with some 25-pound plates on each side, which adds up to 95 pounds. I did it for 10 reps. This was a pretty awkward workout, but this is something that I really want to implement into my actual workout. It doesn't hurt to always try something new, especially when you're actually new to working out. So I think this is a really good idea. I felt this one pretty good in my quads. This was definitely a really good burner and I definitely recommend it. Putting it into your workout just one just one time, just give it a shot. I think you'll like it. And these right here are cable duck walks. Uh, this is 105 pounds. I'm doing this with the cable machine and I'm just uh, getting low to the floor and I'm just walking back and forth. Um, I don't really know how many times I went back and forth. I don't really know what that cycle number was. I just burned them out as much as I possibly could. When you're doing a hold like this, you're really activating your glutes. When you're doing them, the lower you go, the better you feel it. I wasn't going pretty low, but hopefully I'll be able to get really low on these and really pack on some weight doing this. And then to finish off, I did uh, 35 pounds of leg extensions and I did 10 reps of those. You know, I'm just sitting there and I'm just getting that weight up, putting a, a lot of work on my quads in this exercise. Great isolation movement to finish off my leg workout. Tuesday was an immaculate chest day. Don't mind my tiny calves in this and don't mind my head bobbing, but I was going hard on these. I really just wanted to hit that middle chest like I said last week. Really got to hit that middle chest. I'm just really lacking there as well besides my calves. That was a solid eight reps of 45 pounds on each side. Next workout, super heavy bench press. I did the same way as I did last week, so 160 pounds. And this one was so heavy. My chest was so sore from doing those um, chest flies, and I couldn't even get up. I could hardly get up to one rep, and I was done. I came up, and I was like, you know what? I might as well go down to failure. So I get, a, I pick it up, and I do it again. I mean, this time I basically failed right there. I was holding on to it for a while, but then I finally just gave up and called it good. After that, my chest was just about done. Um, and then after that, I brought over the bench and I brought it underneath the cable and I started doing some incline flies, uh, 30 pounds, and I did 15 reps of those. I wanted to hit my upper chest as well. I know, you know, I want to hit all of the muscles in my chest. Not just the middle, I want to hit the top and the lower part of my chest as well. That's why I'm doing all these crazy exercises, because I just want to get a thick, massive, juicy chest. After that, I did a flat bench, dumbbell bench press. I did 25 kilograms, which is 50 pounds. I was going pretty heavy. Some of the some of the times on my eccentric, I wasn't going down all the way. But um, nine reps, that's, that's exactly what you want to get out of these... Arms were getting a little bit shaky in those, which is what we want. Now it is chest day, but I wanted to throw in a little bit of shoulders. I wanted to get a couple of reps in with the 10 pound um, shoulder lateral raise. I don't want to blow my shoulders out. I want to go nice and light, as light as I possibly can with those dumbbells. I even threw in some military presses. This is 15 pounds of... 17 repetitions. I just want to keep it nice and light as always. I don't want to injure myself. Um, finally, looking at myself from the footage, it looks like I'm not going up all the way. So yeah, every, a lot of the times I record myself and I realize that my form can be a lot better. So yeah, it'll just give me something for me to work on for next week. Now we're on to a second leg day. 
which could have been a mistake. It could have been someone telling me that I shouldn't be doing double leg day because you'll see why. Spoiler alert, it's because my form is really bad on most of these. So this is me trying to do a really good squat with really good form, but I don't think my ankles or my knees are mobilized enough for me to go any lower. So it's really just something that I just need to keep doing and eventually I'll just get lower something. This is 135 pounds for 10 reps. Here's another failed set. This is the um, hip thrust and my, for some reason I wasn't going all the way up. It, it looks like I'm doing quarter reps. So uh, that's also something for me to work on. It looks like we got 210 to 215 pounds on there. But like I said, these look like quarter reps. Doesn't even look like these reps are actually counting as a rep. It looks like I just did zero reps right there pretty much because I didn't even go up all the way. Next up, I tried to do reverse deadlifts. And I was, I was going down, and then I was coming up once I felt the stretch in my hamstring. Um, I wasn't going extremely low because I didn't want to round out my back like what I was doing in the last video. I also tried really hard to keep my glutes back, and I actually started bringing my toes up off the ground. You can see it in some of the reps. My toes are just coming up because I'm actually bringing my butt so far back. And there we go. I even walked backwards. So I was feeling it in my back, so I decided to put some weight off. I didn't want to take too much weight off because I didn't want to just not be lifting heavy at all. So I put 35 pounds on there instead only to figure out that my lower back was still hurting when I was doing these. Well, it wasn't really hurting, but I was feeling it in my lower back when I was trying to feel it in my glutes and my hamstrings. So I ended up finishing off in a couple of reps and then I... So I brought the bar down without any plates. And I started repping them out only to realize that my, I was still feeling it in my back. So there's, there's definitely something going on with this on my reverse deadlift. This wasn't a good leg day, so I just decided to finish off with some hamstring curls. Something that I can actually do. I think I did 30 pounds in this one of 20 reps. Nice and slow, full range of motion. Back day, I did 90 pounds and I did the... Uh, cable pull down just like that i did a couple reps i just wanted to stay in the range of 8 to 15 reps if i went a little bit over that's totally fine by me you know i'm just after that i did these things i don't know what they're called i don't even know if these actually hit back i think they hit shoulders but um incline dumbbell y raises um i did i did those for five pounds and i did 10 reps of those then I did some body weight pull-ups looking at my form on this. Um, I could have went a lot farther down. Could have got a bigger stretch in my lats, which would have been nice. I got to start doing that. I did a pretty solid 10 reps on that. Then to finish my back day off, I just did some bent over rows with 95 pounds of 14 reps. And then to finish off my last day this week, I did arms. Uh, we're starting out with the tricep cable pull downs with 90 pounds of nine reps. Then we did the standard hammer curls with the dumbbells, uh, 15 kilograms, which is actually 33 pounds. I actually looked it up this time, 33 pounds. Solid eight reps. That's a great start to get my biceps burning real good. I don't know what these are called. These are tricep overhead extensions, I think. Uh, that's also 90 pounds. Um, eight reps right there, nice and slow, really feeling that in my shore head tricep. And then to finish off this week's workout, I did um, those side arm hammer grip curls with 90 pounds, 20 reps, going hard, feeling the burn. Feeding the burn non-stop every day. Let's get it. Thanks so much for watching this week's video. Make sure you subscribe to see my progress.